Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today's topic is how long should I active focus? This is a question that's come in from a subscriber. What is the daily minimum time for active focus? So this is a very frequent question that comes up in the comments underneath my videos. Um, it's an understandable question because in doing active focus, you have to take time out of your day to implement it into your routine. So if you can get away with the minimum effective dose, then why wouldn't you? So to address that question, I would say a minimum amount of time should be about 10 minutes per day. Um, this should be enough to give you some stimulus, stimulus for your eyes to improve. So in order to achieve that, you could be active focusing with your Snelling chart, with uh, objects in the distance. If you're working at a computer and you've got differential glasses on, for those who don't know what differential glasses are, they're glasses that are weaker than your full prescription, with, which provide a little bit of blur when you're working on a computer screen, and then you can use active focus to clear up that blur. So doing that throughout your day while you're working can help you improve your eyesight. So with these type of good habits, a minimum of 10 minutes per day should be enough to start seeing improvements in your eyesight. Of course, the opposite of this is true as well. If you are wearing your full prescription glasses while you're working on a computer or you're spending hours on your phone, as many people do, um, wearing your full prescription or holding it very close to your eyes, you're straining your eyes a lot. If you've got lots of bad eye habits, then it's very unlikely that you're going to see any improvements, even if you're doing 10, 20, 30 minutes of active focus per day. So it's critical to have good eye habits, good eye hygiene, as it can be called, and implement active focus by means of using differential glasses or taking breaks and looking into the distance, reading number plates on cars, signs in the distance if you're looking out your apartment window, things like that. These can all help. So take the 10 minutes that I've mentioned as just a guiding figure Person. because what you will notice once you start to implement active focus and you notice that things are clearing up for you that 10 minutes won't satisfy your need to improve. So what I mean by that is you've started clearing things up you, after 10 minutes, you won't want to stop. So you've looked at your eye chart and say you were looking at the 2030 line and now that's cleared up. Um, and then you go about your day and you're working on your computer. You look out the window and then you'll want to clear up things looking at things in the distance it just becomes an addictive thing so at that point you will do more and more active focus even though you started with an arbitrary 10 minute target um, which is fine you can do as much active focus as you feel like is comfortable with your eyes obviously never get to the point where your eyes are painful or strained or uncomfortable that's going to be potentially counterproductive and um, this process is kind of the classic tortoise versus the hare. If you're the hare and you're sprinting for a few days here, a few days there, you're not going to make a lot of progress. Whereas if you're the tortoise and you're just doing a little bit consistently every day, that's when you see improvements. So as I've mentioned in other videos, you can expect to improve by about three quarters of a diopter to a whole diopter per year. So if you're somebody that begins with say minus three diopters, that means it will take you roughly three years to get back to 2020. So you can see what I mean then about uh, being the tortoise in the race rather than the hare, which is more beneficial. So that's the answer to today's question. Hope that makes things a little bit clearer. See you in the next video.